Hey, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Lemon Loader and Bone Lab Fusion. Remember, you're going to need a PC or laptop. It doesn't have to be good. You just need it so you can put the files on your quest and for the networking. So let's get into it. First up, you're going to need to download Steam. Why? Because, like I said just then, for networking. Make sure you go to Steam website if you haven't already download it. Once it's done, go into Steam. Search up Steam VR in the search bar. Add it to your log. Well, download it, but you can cancel the download right after. But I recommend you just download it just in case something goes wrong. Once that's all done, that's that's step one done. Next up, Lemon Loader itself. Before you do this, I recommend that you save your Bone Lab save. If you're willing to just give up your save. And download one from like mod io again well you can just do that and some people have reported that their saves have disappeared but that hasn't happened to me when i did it so now go to the second link in the description this will bring you to the lemon loader github page like the one you see right here and what you're going to want to do is scroll down until you find lemon well melon loader installer apk download it and remember where you put it so if you already have like a folder or something, just drag your lemon loader folder out here or something, like out on this, on your home page. Next up, you're going to need SodQuest. Make sure your quest is connected to your PC via a cable. You're going to want to open SodQuest. Then go up to the box with a down arrow so you can install APK. It may bring you to another folder, just go to where you put your other APK last time. Like for me, it's Opera Downloads. So all you're going to want to do is find the APK, the Melon Loader Installer, drag and drop that in, and it should download onto your Quest. Now that it's downloaded, go on your headset. What you're going to want to do next is go to Apps, Unknown Sources, and open Lemon Loader. Once that's done, it should ask you for permission with some pop-ups or something. Accept all of them. Now that that's done, scroll down until you find Bone Lab. Click on it. And you should get a warning. Wait a couple seconds. Select Understood. And now, press Repatch. Now Lemon Loader should patch Bone Lab. Remember, this process may take a while depending on how many mods you have. Wait a few minutes. And Lemon Loader should ask you to uninstall Bone Lab. The reason why I said uninstall like that is because you're not fully uninstalling it. It's just going to patch it again. Select OK. And the patching process will continue. It should take another few minutes or so. While that's going on, just watch a video, listen to music or something. I don't know. Once it's done, Lemon Loader should say, do you want to install Bone Lab? Click Install. Listen carefully. Once it's done, it'll ask you to restore the app. Never, and I mean never, click on restore from this point on. When you see restore, click close instead and exit out of Lemon Loader. Now open Bone Lab. Do it right when you can. It may take a while for it to open, but don't worry. It's just a first time boot up. It may take anywhere from four to 30 minutes i know that's a long time but just hear me out it's gonna be worth it you want to play multiplayer right so it's gonna be worth it and don't let your quest fall asleep during this process just keep it on your head where the proximity sensor inside the headset can still detect your face just like move your head like small little bits here and there while you're watching some after you get after you hear the ba ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba or whenever you start a bone lab, the UI the Oculus UI may be bugged, like the Oculus home menu UI. That may be bugged. Don't worry, it's only for this time. Go into settings, go down until you find close or is of the sort, and close the game. That's enough for your headset. For this little bit now. Now go into the description and click the link underneath BL Fusion. This should now bring you to the Thunderstore. 
Now when you're here, click on manual download. This should download the file that you need. Now open that file you just installed. Take out the, f take out the files named mods and plugins. You should only extract those two. Now open side quest or go into your folder. Press the folder icon in side quest. From here, in folder and side quest, you're going to want to go into the folders named Android. First, you want to go, want to go into, well, if you're in folders, go to quest 2. Stop for a second. Now, everyone has to go to Android, folder named Android, data, com, dot stress level zero bone lab around that sort and files now drag and drop the mods and plugins folders into the mods folder if you're in folders and if you're on side quest just drag and drop the mods and plugins in and it should play some automatically that was for fusion next up bone lib Similar, do the same process from what we did for Fusion. Do manual download. Do manual download. Take out mods and plugins. Extract them. Do the whole process over again. If you know how to do it again, just go back like 30, 40, 50 seconds. You're also going to want to download Ragdoll as well. You're going to also want to download Ragdoll Player. Do the same thing that you did for Fusion and BoneLib. I'm going to wait a couple seconds. You can pause the video here. Go back. Next up, Fusion Helper. Go into the description. Fusion Helper. That I have in the description. Fusion Helper will connect your quest to Steam to Fusion. I know it may sound confusing to some, but don't worry. Click the link that I have in the description. And with the link, two things can happen. It'll either start downloading immediately, or bring you to a GitHub page like this. This page has this page has six zips. Well, seven, eight, but you're only gonna want to focus on the top six. If you're on Linux, download either the first folder or the second folder. If you're on Mac, download the third or or the fourth. If you're on Windows, get the 5th or the 6th. If you're on Windows, I recommend you get Fusion Helper underscore Win underscore X64 and instead of ARM64. Now that's done, open the Fusion Helper zip folder that you just downloaded. Bring it to your home screen. We'll bring it and drag it to your home screen. Then you want to bring these. We're going to want to bring this out here. You're probably going to get this folder right here. What you're going to want to do is open it. Make a new folder. I recommend you name this. Fusion Helper or something along those lines. And copy all these that you see here. And drag them into Fusion Helper. The, one, the folder you just made, not the zip again because it would do nothing. Now open that Fusion Helper folder. Go down until you find Fusion Helper application. Open that up. And a command prompt like this should appear. If Steam is not running, just open Steam and it should be good. Plus, it may ask you to connect to private and public networks. Allow it. If you don't, it will not work. Now that that's working, you're now going to want to go back on your Quest 2 again. Wait for everything to load. If you see the bitmark, achievements, and the change log, that means the uh, mods that you placed earlier are working correctly. If you don't see any of them, something must have went wrong during the moving process. I'm sorry, I do not know what to do at this stage. I don't know how I can help you with this. Maybe go into the folder under files and delete all lib and Bonelib, Fusion, a Ragdoll, and install it again and place them back. That's all I can say for that one. With If your Fusion and all that did appear, go have a look at your computer with this here. If Fusion Helper has gotten like some locks and stuff, 
That means it's working correctly. Infusion is working. This is the end. Once I'm able to get my friends to download Fusion, I'm going to help you further with how you can join your friends as well. So if you want to see that, you don't have to do anything. You can just like or something. And I want mine. Anyways, um, I hope this helped. If it didn't and it made you more confused, comment down below and I'll try to simplify it even more. Anyways, I'm TOG. And I'll see you again soon. Yep, yep.